When you get into the corners and you really stretch it in, it's actually stretching the material and taking the carbon out of it. So I'm your host, Bilson. Today on the Bilson Show, we're going to put a little bit of vinyl over this light blue Chevy symbol we are. Because you know me, I like the carbon fiber look and I think it matches the grill a little better and stuff like that. Nothing else on this truck is just color blue. It's kind of neat looking, but just nothing else matches. We're going to have to uh, cover this up with a little bit of my trademark carbon fiber look. So this is going to be pretty easy, actually. There's not much to do in this. All you really need is a rag. And you give it a little wipe off and then you just take your vinyl like this and you just uh, start by at the top there and you let her out and then you trim her off. Let's uh, do this together and you can see what I'm talking about maybe. Maybe. So we'll start up here. Just got to get it on like that. Slide her down and then you just walk her out on this way and walk her out this way. There we go. See it's just like that and then we just heat her up. Get her in the grooves and then we'll just trim her up. Maybe. How come I always do this to myself? Every time. I have to start putting some freaking markings on something. Say, hey, dummy, it's this drawer. I don't think it's going to matter though because I don't see it in any drawers. Oh my god. Boys, girls, peoples. What happened? What is happening right now? Where did you go? Oh, well, there you are. Looking in the wrong spot. Well, that didn't help, did it? Where were we? Oh, yeah. Carbon fiber on the Chevy symbol. Are you right? We are. So, you just want to take a piece of, uh, you know, a squeegee or whatever, credit card, whatever you got. We'll give her a little bit of heat. Just enough to get her to take the marks, eh? Right in there. Now, sometimes it's going to be hard to get there because they don't have a doodad to get there, but hey. She is what she is, she is. Ooh, ooh, eh? Look at her work, Captain. Isn't that neat the way that works, boys? Hey, girls, peoples. So now that that's done, we'll take a razor blade and we'll trim her off. Make sure when you're using the dollar store razor blades like I use, you don't use it on glass or anything because it will scratch the hell out of it real quick. So we just want to take the razor blade and follow the line on the grill, nice and gently. There's one. Two, three, decent. Okay, let's peel some of this back and see how it's looking. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Would you look at that? Jeez, this blue is just wanting to come out and say, how you doing, big time. You can still see the blue. Oh well, it is what it is. It's around the edges a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, but she's gonna be damn close. Oh yeah, friggin' great it is. So let's start over here. Definitely can see the blue still on the bottom edge, which is kind of bumping me out a little bit. Might have to put another piece on there and make her a little big bigger. Maybe. Maybe not. It's just one piece right here that's bugging me. Alright. Well, it's not too bad. No, it looks like crap. Start over. If it looks like crap, you start over. That's how it works. Especially in my world. I actually have quite a bit of this stuff. I think I have about 24 feet of her. So we gotta make it right. But this time I'm gonna start at the bottom, I think. So I can get the right distance over the blue and the right angle to dangle. It's right there. It's harder working upside down though, I'll tell you. There we go. So we got that. So I'm gonna trim the excess off this time. Just don't hit your grill when you're trimming. Hey, I have another piece just in case you screw up. Let's set that upside down. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to trim around the outside of it first and then we'll heat it. That way we have excess around the outside edge. So just run your knife along the edge without marking the grill. Nice and smooth. Just follow the edge. If you feel a bump, stop. Ready? Down. Nice. We'll go across now. I'm trying something different this way. Good. Now will come down. Good. Okay, things are going good so far. Maybe. Keep an eye on it. Things could change drastically real quick by accident. Okay, 
Good. This edge. Careful. Easy. Frank. There we go. Good. Now we're gonna come down. Okay. You watching? I am. Careful. Easy. A little trimming off action. Now we gotta come across the bottom. Good. Down. Good. Now I'm hoping when I heat this, it's gonna fall right into that groove and stay right in there. That's what we're hoping for. It's kind of a tester. I'm gonna have to redo it again, so don't get our hopes up here. All right, let's try that. Now we'll heat it and see if we can get her to kind of stay right where it is. We'll give it a little rub around the edge. Beautiful. Great, great, and great. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Well, it was working. Rover stretching her a little bit on the corners up here. And the reason why how you can tell is the carbon fiber starts to go away a little bit. She'll be okay though. Man, there's one spot that's screwed up. Frank, I don't want to do it again. So what's happening is a vinyl, because it's a carbon fiber vinyl, when you get into the corners and you really stretch it in, it's actually stretching the material and taking the carbon out of it. So at the top, you look, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. See how the vinyl's kind of gone away right here? And it's kind of gone away right here. It's actually in, but it's stretched. So it looks like it's not in, if you know what I mean. And I got a little bit of a crease right in here. It don't look bad. We're gonna leave that for now. Oh yeah, let's get some of the side and stuff too. See how it's got the side angle? Now you don't see the dark, the light blue. What do you think? Leave a comment down below if you think I should leave that on like that or if you think I should take it off. But it kind of matches the grill now. And I think it looks kind of neat. Let's stand back and have a look. Oh yeah, that looks cool. The nice thing about that too is when you get tired of it, you just yank her off and then you get blue back. So you're not actually painting anything and wrecking anything. And I'm getting pretty anal. Like I'm the only one that's gonna notice the little flaws. If I want, I can put another one right over top. Hey, let's do that. Put one over top, we'll go inside this time. And that way, we can cut it to the inside and it'll look flawless. Let's try it. Why wouldn't we? We have everything we need right here to do it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna Follow the Chevy symbol in here, follow it down here, follow it across here, pull her off, see what happens. Ready? Yeah, good. There we go. Now the distortion in the corners is gone. It's hard to make 100% perfect when you're doing an inside cut like that, but that worked out pretty good. Leave your comments down below if you think I cocked that over. Leave your comments down below if you think I, you know, euchred that over. Listen, I gotta try to stop saying cock and dick. I do. Help me out with a new word that I can use instead of cocks and dicks. Actually, hold on a sec here. I gotta have a serious talk with you guys out there and girls. I know you're all here for me and I appreciate it. But you gotta really help me out this time. This here is a call out to help me out. Try to share my videos if you can. So hit the like buttons there and stuff like that because it really helps me out. And I gotta stop saying dicks and cocks. That's not helping the channel either. So leave me a comment down below and think of a new word for me. Help me think of a new word that sounds kind of good and funny at the same time. Like I said, if you can share, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel huge because I'm growing slowly, as you know, like very, very slowly, and it's not helping too much. I'm glad you're here. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for the support for my long-term subscribers, and you know who you are, I got a pile of them. The ones that always comment, the ones that are always there for me. One other thing too, if you're ever uh, in the mood for some squirrel videos, feeding the old squirrels, some people like the little animals and the little critters they do. I get a kick out of it. I have this one uh, channel I like to click in once in a while. She designs all these nice little houses and stuff and puts nuts in them. And the squirrels go nuts. Mel G's Backyard Squirreling is what it's called. She gets more views than I get, but her subscribers are low. So go over there and help her out and get her up to a thousand subscribers so she can make some money back for buying some nuts. Because, you know, you always need money to buy nuts, you do. Or at least give the nuts away. Why wouldn't you? But if you don't mind doing that, get over there and give her some love for me. That'd be much appreciated. Like I said, her channel gets more views than mine does, but 
I get more subscribers, so you never know. You might be in a squirrels. I don't know. Check her out if you are. Why wouldn't you? I would. Let me know what you think of the carbon fiber on the uh, Chevy symbol instead of the blue. Let me think if you should go back to the blue. And I should do a little bit of touch up here. I got a little mark there, a little mark there. So we're going to have to throw a little bit of touch up on that. I might do that while I'm sitting right here right now. What do you think? You think I should? You want to watch? Probably not. I'll do it after. But love you all. Glad you're all here. Like I said, give me a share if you can to a friend that might be interested. It's really appreciated. Plus, it helps me get into the algorithm a little better. But I got to stop saying those two words. YouTube just doesn't like any kind of swearing. You have to put click mark not for kids or age restriction. And then as soon as the age restriction, nobody under 18 can watch it. Normally kids nowadays are more advanced than we were at 18 or under 18 nowadays. So you need those views on YouTube. You do. It helps you out big time. Enough with me. Enough of that. Enough of this. Love y'all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.